for the dance floor uh, must maintain the property in orderly fashion. Uh, portable signs prohibited. <coughs> Temporary window signs should not exceed 25% of the area of any single window. window. Uh, those in regulations about sale of uh, alcohol must be in, within the regulations of the state of California. The committee shall abide by all requirements, licensing, otherwise establish sale of alcohol coverages. Uh, telephone numbers of local law enforcement must be posted. No pay phones maintained on the exterior of the premises. Talks about the trash container must be screened. Um, a few other things. So it appears to, to me, and we talked about it uh, at the executive meeting, it appears that the draft conditions for approval are really designed to uh, ensure that this operates as a uh, restaurant, not a bar. And uh, to, to clear up some confusion too, last month we were looking at the application and it was for beer, wine, and distilled spirits. It was clarified this, that the application is only for beer and wine. So that's the draft conditions as they stand now. And uh, they're not done. So you brought in another map? Yes, this has the, the seating. Anybody wants to look at it? Right there. Okay. Right here. So the jukebox goes, right? And the pool table goes. If, if that is right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like we got ten tables. Ten tables, and we have seen them all along here. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 25 sounded like, I don't know how I'm going to cram 25 tables. That's right here. It says it. Right here. Parking, handicap, landscape. Yeah, nothing about tables there, though. Okay. No, nothing about. There's a separate map for that uh, that uh, regional planning has. Right, but your map here shows ten tables, so. Right. Yeah. Ten tables and five people at a table. You said. Mm -hmm. Different. That looks like four. Mm -hmm. Some are five, some are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Total of ten. Total of ten tables then. Yes. And booths around the side to include the uh, no booths. No booths. Um, They're all tables. The building isn't uh, large enough for booths. So uh, we did the best we can with the room that we have. Uh, there is seating along the counter. There's uh, fifteen uh, seats as a, as a counter. Is that like a low counter? Well it's uh, it's actually a um, kind of a high counter, but it has, you know, high seats. You can sit down. Um, it's like a regular, uh, it can be used uh, to eat or whatever. In, or like and you have a separate spot for a bar? <laughs> Are you telling me that the counter well, is a counter to eat at and then you have another spot that you have for a bar? No, or you're telling no, me that this whole... It's, just, it's just a countertop. It's it granite okay, countertop. It was the existing bar that was there that was refurbished. Right. We had a new top put right. on it. And, we just and put a new top on it right. and fixed it up because it was, the old one was beat up. And yes, I know the old one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really looks nice in there. Um, uh, the people that have come by, uh, inspectors and all that, said it's really nice in here. And uh, we can't wait to open and start serving people food. And uh, and uh, anyway, uh, but anyone, as far as uh, people are concerned, they could come and look at these maps and uh, maybe here. If you want to look at them? Um, could you tell us? Um, we noticed that you poured a slab within the last six months, and you have a tent that's going over. What is that, and what's it for? That uh, is uh, usually for smoking. Mm -hmm. If people want to smoke a cigarette, I know uh, most restaurants they don't let you smoke inside, so you have to have a designated area for a smoking area. Nine hundred square feet. It's thirty by thirty. Thirty by thirty. Yeah. So you need nine hundred square feet for smokers. Well, um, we don't know how many people are going to be coming there. Are are you planning on using it for outside your building yeah. fire department? <laughs> <laughs> no, no one has said anything about entertainment. No. Spill over from the restaurant. I mean, it could be uh, used for extra people, tables. People could be used for eat. extra tables outside. If people want to eat outside, uh, you know, we can uh, 
accommodate people out there. We do have tables out there. <coughs> Andrew, is it Andrew? This is, would, so would outside eating be permitted? Well, the conditions don't address it at this point. Usually we, um, we, we ask the floor plans to tell us how it's going to be used, and we approve the floor plan. Uh, I, <coughs> my belief would be that you probably, if it was something permanent, you'd have to, the applicant would have to, have to come back and get a revised exhibit A, what it's called. But that's, that's a staff decision. It's not made by public hearing like this is. Um, as long as he varies something by 10%. So if, if he's got 10 tables, roughly 10%. So if he wants an extra table or two, the planning department would allow him to add that just over the counter without public hearing. But it's not proposed at, at this time. And uh, it would also change the parking ratio a little bit. But again, the question is, is would this be a permanent seating or would, be, would this be a, a, a special event of some type? So basically the reason we have conditional use permits is um, in things like, well, the, the restaurant is in a, in a proposed restaurant is in a commercial zone. You have about, I'd say, 10 or 15 parcels in animal bakers that are permitted uh, for things like <coughs> restaurants reason the applicant has to come um, go through public hearing is for the alcohol portion of his permit and uh, the zoning code uh, takes into account that alcohol service provide uh, creates a greater impact on the community so it gives the community a chance to think of possible impacts and uh, the planning commission consider any other types of conditions. Um, they may not accept them, but if, if you have you have about two weeks uh, for the next public hearing, there was an initial public hearing, and uh, because the commission got so many letters from the community, they decided it, it wasn't time yet to make a decision, and they they were hoping that primarily through the town council they would get a better sense of how to specifically address some of the things that were being raised in all the letters. And so the commission would normally approve the permit with, with the type of uh, conditions that we've already submitted, but it's always case by case. And if this community feels that there's some extra things, like maybe you get some noise, uh, this, you have a chance to suggest them and the commission would, would take them seriously. Okay, I'm sorry. So, I the, so the answer catch. is, <coughs> I mean, the question was, uh, would outside uh, seating be permitted? I think the answer is permanently no. If it was a special, special type of situation, if he had a, a party every other month, I, I don't see how that necessarily violates the code. However, if he wanted to do permanent seating, he could come back to our department and ask that over the counter. We would probably give him two or three tables outside.